Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Unreal Engine 5v Cam using an Android phone. Yes, I said that right. Finally, v Cam is now compatible with Android devices. So in this video, I'm going to be using my Google Pixel 5a or 6a. I think it's 6a. Uh, to uh, kind of control the camera inside Unreal Engine 5.4. So if you're familiar with the iPhone version, it's pretty much the same thing. But if you're not, let's go ahead and check this out. First things first, we're going to go ahead and enable the plugin. So go to edit, plugins, and you're going to type in virtual camera. And you're going to enable both of these. I'll exit out. Don't restart yet. Go to edit, project settings, and type in RGB. Now, usually this is set to 10 right here. 10 RGB, 2-bit alpha. Go ahead and set that to 8-bit RGBAs. And then lastly, type in transport. And you're going to have enable transport right here. This is already checkmarked after you restart it. And then the unicast endpoint, you're going to put in your IP address. If you don't know how to check that, just go to command prompt, type in IP config, and you're going to be using the IP config v4. Now, remember that IP because you're also going to need that in the Android app. So that said, I'm going to turn on my Android phone and I'm going to start screen recording. And I will open up my Unreal vCam. And as you can see right here on my screen, since I'm connected to the same internet as my computer on my phone, I'm already able to see it on my phone. But in here, I'm going to the unicast endpoint and just select the same exact IP that you're seeing on your Android phone. And after that, you should be good to go. You can restart it, but I already restarted, so I should be good. And now what I'm going to do is I have a little sequence here that I call testing. I'm just going to place that right there. And then lastly, I'm going to go to the plus box, type in virtual vCam actor. And after that's done, I'm going to click on my computer right here, overkill three. And just like that, we are now controlling the camera from the Android phone, right? So I'm gonna pan right here. No, I'm just sitting because I'm making a tutorial, but you can stand up if you want. Now this is actually pretty darn responsive. I've been using virtual cams for a while and this for being the first version is really, really impressive. I'm gonna click on this and just press G so I can hide those icons. And on the bottom right corner, I'm gonna press play. And just like that, we can do some crazy camera movements like, you know, like or one of those people, like, you know, those people that make coffee video like that or like, like those fast pans that are getting really fucking old. But yeah, just like that, we're getting that handheld view. I'm running this at 24 frames per second. So that's pretty much it for this video. A little quick tutorial on how you can use your Android phone as a virtual camera in Unreal Engine 5.4. Pretty cool stuff.